A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today I'm going to show you certain advanced CSS properties um, uh, which are uh, which may be alien and new to you. I'm going to be using CSS3 guys. Um, I'm not sure or I can actually call it advanced but surely um, they are not known to everyone. Alright so let me start. Uh, let me hit on the create new HTML uh, option in Dreamweaver CS5 and let's get started. Okay, before I actually start my tutorial, let me tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a div. I'm going to give it rounded corners. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a drop shadow. That's the second thing that I'm going to do. And I'm also going to rotate it. That's the third thing that I'm going to do. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to actually convert the div into a complete circle. That's the fourth thing that I'm going to do. So let me get started, guys. The first thing that I want to do is I want to incorporate and SWF in my document I'll save my document I'll call it test and say save guys I've already defined my side folder I'm assuming that you know how to do it I will not be showing that up here in this tutorial okay I got an SWF called my website file I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna say okay I'll skip the title for now. I'm gonna say okay once again and that'll bring the SWF up in Dreamweaver let me take a publish uh, let me take a, a preview in Firefox. Uh, Dreamweaver will copy certain dependent files. That's okay. I'll click on OK. And uh, here is the SWF in question, guys. Let me close it up. Go back to Dreamweaver. Now, what I want to do is I want to encapsulate this SWF inside a div tag. So I'm going to say insert layer objects div tag. I'll choose an ID for the div and call it my. CSS uh, 3 click on the new CSS button I'm gonna say ok then I'm gonna go to the box category and uh, rather I'll go to the border, border category I'll choose a solid thin black uh, rather gray border and say ok and say ok once again let me show you a published preview uh, not much has changed guys ok now the SWF is sitting right in the div. Uh, let me make uh, one change uh, by double clicking on the my CSS3 rule under the CSS styles and um, let me go to the positioning category. I want to chop off the bottom bit. So I'm going to say hidden and uh, I'll go to the box category. I'm going to define a height and I'm going to say 400 the width I'll keep it at uh, 960 I'm gonna say okay and uh, guys what will happen now is beyond 400 uh, pixels the SWF will get chopped as we'll see now do you see that I've used the hidden property overflow hidden and I'm uh, then able to chop off the bottom all very good now what I wish to do next is I wish to make uh, rounded corners for the div now I cannot do it by double clicking on my CSS3 rule and um, making adjustments I need to hand code it guys it's a CSS3 property rounded corners so uh, I, sh I have to hand code it and I'm in the split view guys and I'm gonna put some hand code here I'm gonna say underscore mos now I have to tell uh, Dreamweaver that it's applicable to either Mozilla if I s instead of saying Moz, Moz for Mozilla Firefox if I say O now that that code will be um, applicable to Opera if I say MS will be applicable to Microsoft Internet Explorer if I don't put any prefix uh, then it means that it will be applicable to all of the browsers but then again these CSS3 properties may or may not uh, work with your version and your um, browser so uh, I would advise you to check the compatibility chart first they may or may not work with your browser guys these uh, CSS3 properties do not have a universal acceptability if you are working with the the latest versions the chances are they'll be accepted uh, the compatibility will be there otherwise it won't be there and uh, one of uh, the reasons why you should be working with the latest versions guys so 
putting a dash m was a dash for mozilla dash o dash for opera dash webkit dash for uh, chrome and safari and dash ms dash for uh, microsoft internet explorer should be prefixed before the code so I've prefixed dash moz uh, dash for mozilla firefox i'll only be confining myself to mozilla firefox now i'm gonna say then uh, border radius i'm gonna say border dash radius and uh, then give a value of uh, let's say 25px semicolon let's test it out guys testing only in firefox because it will not show up in any other browser because the prefix that i've used here come the rounded corners all very good uh, next let me rotate this i'm gonna say uh, mouse sorry mouse then uh, transform and then rotate I'm pulling up everything from the code hinting guys I'm getting good uh, nice uh, code hinting and then I'm gonna put a value 180 DEG DEG for degrees and uh, put a semicolon in the end let me test it now guys as you can see the image uh, or the SWF got inverted not only does it have rounded corners it, it also got inverted by 180 degrees all very good let me go back to mozilla firefox i'm gonna say dash moz for mozilla o for opera w e b k i t webkit for chrome and safari ms for microsoft internet explorer guys again the compatibility may or may not be there because we are working with css3 all right so moz uh, dash and then i want to give it a drop shadow in dreamweaver or a, a css3 we call it a box shadow so i'm gonna select uh, a box shadow okay then i need to give uh, the x displacement of the shadow the y displacement of the shadow uh, and the blurriness distance so the blur distance of the shadow and the color so i'll say uh, 10 px 10 px 10 px space and then I need to give the color let's go with the black and a semicolon let's test it out guys oh you see what's happened here is uh, since it got it was inverted the drop shadow is right on the top not at the bottom so what I can do is I'll just check ch change the degree rotation to zero so that you, sh you should be able to see it uh, give me a sec okay I put the rotation back to zero so that's uh, turned it upside down once again and guys I'm sure you can see the drop shadow the blurriness in fact uh, let me change the color of the blurriness uh, mm, I think you have a hash FF 0000 as the red color I may or may not be right uh, yeah it is right correct I think the blurriness is a bit too much uh, let me make it just five let me test it now okay so that's how you impart a drop shadow guys and next uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the div completely round and uh, there's a small trick that you need to play you need to first make the height and the width the same so if the height is 400 px the width should be 400 px too and then divide either the width or the height by 2 and uh, make it the border radius so dividing the width by 2 will give you 200 and that should be the border radius so if I give the border radius to be a 200 and uh, then I test it in uh, Mozilla Firefox guys you will get a complete circle so guys I can add rounded corners I can add a drop shadow I can make the div completely round and I can rotate it as well now let me set the rotation to a different number let's uh, let it be let's say 200 and uh, let me test it now yes so nice rotation there drop shadow rotation rounded corners and uh, converting the div to a complete circle guys I hope you like this um, CSS3 tutorial. I'll see you next time with yet another Dream Viewer or Flash with ActionScript 3 tutorial. I'll see you uh, very soon. Bye bye. Ciao.